This is Luvon Laza, and he was in court on Friday, and you won't believe the reason why, okay? So, Mzansi, if you haven't already heard the devastating story, or should I say the shocking story? No, um, the heartbreaking story of an 82-year-old grandmother to Uluvon Laza, who is 19 years old, he beat his grandmother, okay? There was a video circulating about two weeks ago. That video was circulating. But I'm bringing this to you here because he's in court, okay? He did get arrested. Whew, thank God. And then after being arrested, he is now at the... On Friday, he was at the Cools River Magistrate Court, okay? For a bail application. But power to his grandmother, okay? A power to his grandmother, you won't believe what she said. They will be back in court today for arguments regarding his bail application. But listen, Mr. Magistrate, Miss Magistrate, whatever happens, keep that boy behind bars. He's a danger to society and a menace to his grandmother. But you know what? I digress. Let's get into the story. This is a heartbreaking one for me. This is a very, very personal story to me because my grandmother... <sighs> My grandmother is in a nursing home and it would break my heart if somebody did something like this, okay? If somebody did something like this to my grandmother, listen, they'll catch these hands, okay? They would catch these hands. Never mind the police. They would catch these hands. But, but I digress. Let's get into the story. So the teen accused of assaulting his granny asks for bail as he prepares to write for exams. Suddenly has a purpose in life. Suddenly has a purpose in life. If you haven't noticed, I'm very biased towards the grandmother. So the Cape Town teenager, Uluvo Naza, was caught on camera. He wasn't caught on camera. He asked for the petition to be filmed by his cousin, allegedly. I think it's his cousin. His cousin filmed the whole thing. And I'm just, yeah, I want to say glad that it was captured on camera. Otherwise, the people would be saying the grandmother's lying. He wouldn't do such a thing. But anyway, let's get back into the story. The 19-year-old who is being held in the hospital section at Pullsmore Prison as he is, what? Thinking of unaliving himself, okay? He's thinking of the deleting of himself. Suddenly, he he wants to do all these things. Where was that energy when he was beating up his grandmother? Where was that energy? There was no kind of situation there where we can suspect that anything was going wrong, going on. But all of a sudden, now that he's behind bars, he has a need to unalive himself, to delete himself. No, no, no. You stand up tall as tall as you were in front of your grandmother and you face the full wrath of the law for the things that you did okay so he asked the court to be released on bail of a thousand rand as he is in matric and needs to prepare for his preliminary exams in september and final year end exams no, there's a, I've heard that there's libraries in the prisons, okay? How do I know? Uh, Gayton McKenzie, okay? Minister Gayton McKenzie said he, he went to the library. He went to the library at the prison. Paul's Moore Prison must have a library. He can go there. He can study for his exams, okay? And they can drive him over to the school to write on the exam day. I think that's a fair compromise. But you know what? I would be a very, very harsh judge. So the story goes on to say, the accused has been charged with assault with intent to cause grievous bodily harm, as well as contravening the Old Persons Act after a video went viral on social media showing him allegedly pushing, okay, and hitting his 82-year-old grandmother, Usindiwe Ngaza. The grandmother was admitted to Carl Abrema Hospital on July 1 after sustaining injuries to her head, left ribs, and left leg. Let me read those injuries again, guys. She sustained injuries to her head, her left ribs, and her left leg. Her grandson was arrested two days after she was admitted to hospital. So he didn't even hand himself to the police. Uh-uh. No. No remorse at the time. Until now that he's in prison, he suddenly wants to delete himself. But, but, you know what? Let's keep going. The investigating officer told the court... The accused should not be released on bail as he was being held in the hospital section at the prison and told the officer at his first court appearance that he does not want to be on this earth anymore and he wants to delete himself. 
the National Prosecuting Authority spokesperson, okay, said the grandmother testified that her grandson had moved from Ekala in Eastern Cape to her grandson had moved in with her after he asked to stay with her. Oh. The court heard that after the accused came home from school, he would take his uniform off and engage in criminal activities with his friends and steal his grandmother's money and personal belongings to buy drugs. On the day of the incident, they had an argument and he warned her that he would beat her up. He slapped her several times and she fell after losing consciousness. She went to sleep and when she woke up the next day, oh... Her left side was paralyzed. The grandmother stated she did not want her grandson to be released on bail as she was afraid of him and feared for her life. She told the court she had intended to open a case against him before he was arrested and charged. In an affidavit, the accused stated he felt uneasy at Polsmore and found it difficult to cope in the environment. <laughs> Just like your grandmother found it difficult to cope with you in her own house. But you know what? I digress. And he humbly begs the court to be released on bail as I am still a high school student in grade 12. The bail application hearing continues later on today. But listen, listen, I'm just holding my breath that no bail is granted to this menace to society. And he has the audacity to say that he he needs to be granted bail because he's still in high school. Where was that same energy? Where was the level of respect he should have owed his grandmother? This is disgusting, but this is a developing story. Let me know in the comment section down below your thoughts on it. Does he deserve bail? Type a one if you think he deserves bail. But know that I'll be judging you. I'll be judging you. And type a two. Type a two in the comment section. If you think he definitely um, does not deserve bail. Before the worship, we had an argument, your worship, and then he said he will beat me, your worship. He beat me, your worship, and I am, and he was slapping me, your worship, and I ended up falling, I fell on the ground, your worship. I would have a problem, your worship, because I don't want him to be released on bail because he's gonna come and help me, your worship. That he will come from where he's staying, your worship, and come and kill me, your worship. Miss Naza, as we speak, she's in hospital. She told the court during her testimony that after the incident, and she went to bed, and when she woke up uh, the next day, her left side was not working. She's suffering from stroke, and she's still even in hospital today. The investigating officer has indicated that it is not in the interest of justice. It's not only for the safety of, of the victim, it is also for his own benefit, for his own safety. As the people in that community have indicated that if he's released on bail, they will deal with him, they will kill him. The state must protect the senior citizen unless it wants us to protect the senior citizen by force. And we are not afraid to use any means necessary. The 19-year-old just found out immediately after she was take, he was taken to the police custody that now he's so Right before that, when he was beating up his grandmother, he did not know that is was. And we are also very much concerned about some of the family members who were sitting behind us, who were in thorough support of Louvo, even insulting the grandmother in court, cursing her. And this tells us that there is more than one person who is giving bad and, and brutal behavior within that family when it comes to that grandmother. 
let's engage in the comment section and i'll catch you there if you've made it this far in the video please know that i absolutely love you thank you so much for watching all the ads make sure you leave me a comment so that i know you watch the video and i'll drop a hello as well fun fact if you don't leave a comment in the comment section i actually don't know you watched the video so let's get to know each other and then another thing please if you're not yet subscribed to the channel i mean hello please go ahead and consider subscribing. It means so much to me. It will help me towards the journey to 35,000 subscribers on this channel. But let me tell you something. I have a second channel, okay? I have a second channel. Some of you have come over and some of you have found me. Yes, yes, yes. Yes, yes. GNU.Unfiltered is our new YouTube channel where I talk about all things um, with well, the intention was to talk about everything GNU government to see if it works, the good, the bad, and the ugly, okay? As I take a deep breath. But here comes the EFF and the VBS scandal back up to the forefront, okay? 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 So we're having a lot of those conversations over on the other side. So if that's your kind of content, please consider coming over, stop and say hello. Make sure you let me know in the comment section that you're coming over from here. Because, you know... Eh, I'm growing a new family over there, getting to know everybody. So it's so fun to see familiar faces. Thank you so much again for all your support. Absolutely love it. And I'll definitely be back with an update after this um after this um menace to society, Uluvo, after his court, after his bail hearing today, later on today. Okay. So I'll talk to you guys later. I'll be back with another update. Thanks for watching. Catch you on my next upload.